So yeah, what's your film about and like what inspired you to make it? So Honeycomb's about a group of young females who get fed up with their guy friend group and decide to leave civilization and move out to an abandoned cabin and come up with their own set of rules and guidelines uh, for the way they want to live their life. And they get kind of messy. I grew up partially or spent time as like a young person on the island where we filmed on Cortez. So definitely like some real life experience with um, like a gender divide in the friend group and, and being bored and looking for like more freedom, especially like just being graduated from high school. So what was your creative process like during making the film? I started coming up with ideas that summer that I had graduated and I moved to Vancouver and I, I started writing the script. Um, my friend Emmett, we would just kind of go back and forth on like a Google Docs. Like I look back at the script now and it's so funny because it's not like how you're supposed to write a script, but it's how I wrote a script. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, and then, yeah, we all went on like a camping trip, myself and my friend group, and I just proposed the idea to them and they were super motivated to make this movie. So then we started filming that summer. How long did it take you to film it? It took like most of that summer and then there was, always things we needed to fix like for the next like three years you know and I edited it myself so it, it was like editing and then oh we need to reshoot this or you know I want to do something different for this so all in all it took like three years but most of the shooting was done that summer. It was like your biggest challenge like a lesson you took away from your experience but also it was like a highlight of that experience. I think just working with friends in general there's like so many like pros and cons that situation like it was for one so comfortable and there was a lot of like back and forth but then there also comes the part where you're like your friend's boss and it gets awkward sometimes and since if, if they couldn't make a day we were shooting things get confusing and then you know you blame that person but they're your friend and it's just <laughs> I want to continue making films with um, my friends so just finding like a better balance if, if I could pay them and that was their only job then I think everything would have been a lot smoother, so. <laughs> you yeah. still did a great job. Thank you. Um, what's, what's next for you? What are you working on? Um, I have a feature film that I've written called Camp. We're just looking to get funding for that right now, kind of putting together a crew and cast a little bit already, um, and finding locations. And yeah, just all the pre-production stuff on that which is super exciting. And it, in a way, it'll feel like my first feature all over again because it's, it's a little more professional. Ask you what's next. Okay, uh, yeah, why did, like, what, how did you get into filmmaking? Like, what was your journey to end up where you are now? <laughs> um, I was, a, when I was a kid, I was an only child and my family gave me access to, like, a laptop way too early. I, I literally just started making movies of, like, my cats, like little documentaries about like my cats. And I was talking to another filmmaker who's my age the other day, and we were just talking about, because they had a similar experience, but it was like our way of like playing. Like I, I, that was something that I did really young that I would just have fun with, and it was my way of playing. And then through that, like I started making films with my friends, and I took a bit of a break, and then when I was in high school again, I started doing the same thing. I realized, um, in that time also that I really enjoy writing. So the two things just kind of combined. Okay, I think those are all my questions for now. Is there anything you want to touch on specifically about Honeycomb? No, I think that was, that was good, yeah. <laughs>